We've got uh, Coach of West Miller here with the uh, Cincinnati Bearcats. He's got with him Dan Skillings and John Newman. Coach, when you're comfortable, please uh, start us off with some general comments about the game. Well, certainly, uh, it's a great win for our program. Um, I'm, I'm happy for our fans. I'm happy for our guys, and we're pleased to be advancing. Uh, you know, I, I, I thought we played with good edge for the most part tonight. I thought we played with good togetherness. I thought we tried to execute our game plan, and it's, it's difficult and for everybody in a, uh, a tournament where you play back-to-back -back days to prepare. And we've only played, you know, a lot of times in conference play, in my experience in college basketball, you're playing a team for the third time. So it's the second time we're playing Kansas. It's been a – feels like forever ago. Uh, and then obviously their personnel's a little different. So it was an interesting prep, and I thought our guys handled it really well. They did some things that were a little different that we couldn't necessarily prepare for, and I thought our guys handled some of the adjustments in game really well. Um, obviously, 16 offensive rebounds. We, we had the size advantage tonight, and uh, I knew we had to be a force on the glass. So I'd like a little bit more. We had nine at halftime, but that's good. We didn't do a good job of punishing them inside. But I thought our guys did a nice job of playing off of two feet and finding each other. Um, you know, I was messing with Dan. He takes 23 shots. I asked him, I'm, I know after back-to-back -back games you worry about their legs. I'm worried about his elbow tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, almighty, 20, some Allen Iverson numbers right there. He is from Philly, so that makes sense. But, uh, but no, I thought Dan was terrific. He just two nights in a row he's had great pop. You see the maturity uh, just happening in front of us. You've always seen the ability, but now he's starting to learn what it takes to really win and do the little stuff. So uh, I, I thought he made big plays for us, obviously scoring it, uh, but making plays for others as well. You know, you look down, he has two assists, but he created a lot more action than that. Um, I thought John got back to being John tonight, and you look down 12-10, you know, I, he just impacts the game. I thought him getting on the defensive board for us was a big deal tonight. I could feel that on some possessions where we got them to miss. And then I'll tell you what, I could keep going down the line, but I thought Jamil Reynolds gave us big time minutes. I was really pleased with him. And we did take advantage inside a couple times, but I thought he was really sound along with the other guys. So really pleased with the win. We got to uh, get, get out of here quickly, get some rest, and, and, get, and get ready to, to go three in three days tomorrow night. Okay, if you've got a question, raise your hand. Uh, we've got Alexis over here. We've got Blake over here. We've got a question on the second row here on the left-hand side here, Coach. Keegan Nixon with Bearcat Journal. Coach, they cut it to three. Um, what did you see from your guys' response from then on to kind of just continue to wear Kansas down and pull away? Well, they were switching everything, you know, everything, you know, one through five. And I thought we did a good job early with it. And certainly we talked about that might happen, but it – you don't want to spend when you only have a day, spend time on something that might happen. You know, we talked about that a lot as a staff last night. Do we want to really take all their brain power on what they could or couldn't do? But when they came out and switched it, we had talked about it as a staff. We talked about it uh, with the guys. But I thought our guys handled it pretty well. Um, and then that to start the second half, we were just got really stagnant. We took a couple times. We, we got some good looks early. They didn't go. And then we got stagnant. I thought we got a little tight to be honest, and stop playing aggressively. And then obviously we weren't as good as we needed to be defensively. Uh, I thought our guys out of that timeout previous to them cutting to three just kind of looked around and said, we're going to go do it. And they got aggressive again. And I think once we got aggressive and started playing like ourselves and getting out and running, I thought some good things started happening. Over here on the right side on the fourth row. Uh, Justin Williams from The Athletic. Coach, other than the possibility of them switching, knowing some of their injuries and, and depth issues, was there anything else about your game plan that you maybe changed or did differently? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we, we were up, it, like everybody in this tournament, we're not special for it, but we were up late last night just trying to guess. And it was hard because you, you, you don't know exactly when they take two guys they've done so much for every game all year on both ends of the floor. You just don't quite know how they're going to adjust. And that part's difficult. Um, so I, I, we, we had a game plan to, to really, you know, we, we talked a lot and worked a lot with the guys. What Worked a lot. We walked a lot and shoot around talking about Harrison Adams. And we knew those two would be in action because that's been consistent all year. And I thought for the most part, our guys did a pretty good job of that. I thought Harris got downhill and got a couple early. 
But I thought for the most part they did a good job. And Adams is so terrific. Both of them are. And you know he can make him over the top. But we wanted to make him make him over the top. And if he made him, we were going to try to live with that. And fortunately, he missed some because he can make more than that. And we were fortunate there. But our guys did a nice job with the game plan. Got three on the front row on the right side here, Coach. Ryan Roberts with Riverfront Sensi. Dan, 11-19 left. You guys are up three points. You miss a three. Grave the rebound, lay it back in to extend the lead to five, and then you score 15 points over those final 10 minutes. Did that kind of get you going uh, late in the game where you kind of took it upon yourself to take over? Well, um, trust my teammates, and I get going for my teammates first. And uh, rebounding and guarding is what we, what we do as a team and what we're about. And getting that rebound just gets me going and then getting back on defense and getting deflections and my teammates finding me. That's how I get going. Get right here on front row. Neil Meyer with the front office news. John, this was an easy, wasn't an easy night for you with KJ Adams. Obviously, you finished with 12 and 10. Talk about that matchup a little bit more. Obviously, he still finished with 22, but talk about the preparation heading into a matchup with a guy like KJ Adams a little bit. Well, you, you don't know anything about matchup. <laughs> uh, actually. You can tell him. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't really my matchup, but um, you know, he's a he's a he's a great player um, in this league. You know, he's big, strong, can finish. Um, like Coach said, our plan was to make him finish over the top, and um, a lot of times he did that tonight. You know, he made a lot of tough shots, but that's something you're gonna have to live with. Um, as good as a player as he is, you kind of have to pick your poison, and um, that was kind of the area that we were gonna live with. Um, you know, had a great game, but um, you know. I think we, we also played well. We had a, guy, a lot of guys that had a well around the game. So, um, you know, kind of like I said, you just kind of got to go with the game plan and keep it pushing. Yeah, John, we, we, John, KJ Adams playing the five, so it was Aziz and Jamil on most of the night. But I thought John was terrific defensively per, per the usual. Still on the front row over here to the right. Alex Frank, Chatterbox Sports. Coach, talk about how you guys were able to overcome that slow start to the second half, Kansas getting back into the game. There was a sequence. Josh Reed gets an offensive rebound. Jizzle James hits a high post jumper. Could you feel that kind of get the momentum back on your side and you were able to pull away towards the end of the game? Yeah, you know, like I said, they went on a big run. We, we missed some good looks. Then we tightened up and took some bad shots and made some bad plays. I, I think sometimes when that's happening in a tournament like this, you just got to see the ball go in. And so when the ball went in, I, actually, I thought we got back in it on a possession where these two just crashed the board so dang hard, both of them. Dan hits the ground, and John ends up with a with an offensive rebound. So, but I, it, you know, I thought we got back to playing harder, and then when the ball goes in, that helps a little bit too. And that play where Jizzle hits the jump shot, it's an offensive rebound, so you're playing hard to get to the ball, and then it's good to see the ball go in. Got another one over here, and then we're coming over. Scott Springer, Cincinnati Enquirer. Uh, Coach, you've had 20 wins before, but 20 tonight with this team in this league does it mean anything more? Yeah. I, I, I uh, certainly we we didn't start the year and say, hey guys, the goal is to get to 20 wins. So I I, I don't think we're, you were like popping champagne tonight or anything like that. Okay, but I, I do think that you, you recognize things that have value and getting 20 wins is something. And we we did say that that was something in the locker room and first year in the Big 12. And there's been some tough days. It's nice to look down and see 20 on the on the uh, the stat sheet right here for sure. Okay, let's go over to the left. Keegan Nixon with Bearcat Journal. Dan, you had a really, really good night in Lawrence when you guys lost them earlier this season. You came out extremely aggressive today. How much of what you did against Kansas earlier this season kind of inspired you for your aggressive performance tonight? Um, I really don't look back at the uh, games behind me, really. I just uh, come in every day and, and worry about the practice that we're playing or and then when the day comes for the game, I just worry about the game with my team and worry about the game plan. So I didn't really think back on last game against Kansas. I just said it's a new day, and I know we got to get a win today, and that's all I was thinking today during the game. Okay, we've got time for two more questions. Uh, we'll go with the first one here on the front row. Alex Frank, Chatterbox Sports. Coach, you talk about the challenges of playing Kansas today, tonight, having not played them since mid-January. Do you feel that way going into tomorrow night against Baylor, not having played them since January 13th? I hadn't had a chance to think about it yet because uh, I came right from the guys in the locker room to you guys. But, yeah, that, that and just like they have the same challenge, I'm not trying to say there's any type of a, a disadvantage there. But, yeah, I mean, it's when you play the team once and it was a long time ago and you're in a, you know, a game every couple of days, that's just a different dynamic. But we'll get to work 
and uh, and start start watching Baylor as soon as we get back and start getting the guys probably get the guys a, a little bit of a brief review and then get them to bed to get some rest and we'll get back to work on it in the morning. Okay, our last question here is on the uh, third row on the right side here. Um, Cameron King with the Bearcat Report. Coach, you guys held them to 15% from the three-point line and only three makes on the game. Was that a point of emphasis going into it? Yeah, we, we, we value guarding the three every night. Uh, and we always, we always have. We, we don't always do as good of a job, but I thought we did a really nice job tonight, you know, especially getting, trying to get to Timberlake uh, and getting to Furphy. And you look down, you know, three for 20. You know, I'm, I'm proud of the effort there tonight for sure. Okay, Coach, thanks. Thanks, guys. Thank you all.